So today I'm gonna to show you how I made these breakfast burritos with the help of the Google Home. So we've got a bunch of leftovers in our fridge here and we're gonna to try to use them up. I'm gonna throw a few ingredients at our Google Home, see what recipe she comes up with, and then see if she can help me cook it too. I'm gonna to open up my Google Assistant app here and I'm gonna say bell peppers and jalapenos. So now that's all we got. Okay, and so now I can see I've got a bunch of different recipes to choose from, but uh, there's one here that says send to Google Home, so I wanna use that one. So I'm gonna click this, bada bing. Okay, Google, start recipe. I have a recipe you got from NYT Cooking called scrambled peppers and eggs. Yeah. Is that the right one? Yes, it is. Great, would you like to prepare the ingredients? Let's or do it. to the instructions? Let's prepare ingredients. There are eight ingredients. I'll read them one by one. Okay. Let me know when you're ready for the next ingredient. The first ingredient is two tablespoons olive oil. Okay, Google, next. The second ingredient is one small onion, chopped. Okay, Google, what's next? Two red bell peppers, chopped. Sufficiently chopped. Okay, Google, what's next? Two poblano or Anaheim chilies, mm. chopped. Don't have poblano, let's see. Okay, Google, what's a substitute for poblano pepper? On the website food52.com, they say, substitutes Anaheim, like poblanos, these are great for stuffing, or serrano pepper. Okay, we don't have any Anaheim peppers either, but you said serrano and I think I know a good substitute for those, jalapenos. Okay, Google, what's next? One fresh hot green chili, like jalapeno. Oh, okay, so we'll just do two jalapenos. Okay, Google, what's next? One tablespoon minced garlic. Okay, Google, what is next? Salt and ground black pepper. Hey, Google, what's next? The last ingredient is four eggs beaten. Okay, Google, what's next? There's seven steps. I'll read them one oh, by I'm one. Ready to start cooking. When you're ready to hear more, you can say, next step. First step, put oil in a large skillet over medium high heat. Okay, Google, how much olive oil? Two tablespoons olive oil. Okay. One, two. I never like to measure when it comes to oil and, and that kind of stuff. I feel like you coat the pan. The two is just a suggestion, right? Second step, add onion and cook, stirring occasionally until it's translucent. One or two minutes. Okay, Google, set a timer for one and a half minutes. All right, one minute and 30 seconds, starting now. Great. While we got a minute here, the Google Home is a great entertainment device. Let's see if it can uh, keep us occupied. Okay, Google, tell me an interesting fact. In 2014, then 15 year old Malia Obama worked as a production assistant for the CBS sci fi drama Extant. Through no fault of Malia's, the show was canceled after two seasons. <laughs> <laughs> Got the sound effects in there too. If facts aren't your sort of thing, maybe a joke is. Hey Google, tell me a joke. Okay, here we go. What do you do if an elephant swallows you? Run around in circles till you're all pooped out. I don't know if I get that one. Okay Google, stop timer. Hey Google, what's next? Add peppers, chilies and garlic and sprinkle with salt and pepper. Okay Google, what's next? Cook, stirring occasionally until peppers are brightly colored but not too soft, four to six minutes. Okay, Google, set a timer for five minutes. All right, five minutes, starting now. Okay, so one other thing you can do to be entertained is play games with your Google Home. Hey, Google, let's play a game. All right, I've got Mad Libs, Lucky Trivia, Crystal Ball, and more. Ooh, Crystal Ball sounds fun. Pick. Crystal Ball, there's Crystal Ball on the Google Home there. If you can, get closer. Closer? Yes. Close your eyes and clear your thoughts. The crystal ball shall tell your fate. Now ask a yes or no question. Will this recipe turn out? The crystal ball says, you betcha. Hey, you betcha, okay. The crystal ball doesn't know everything. You might want to ask a real person for a second opinion. Nice, you nice legal uh, standpoint there. <laughs> no, thanks, I'm done. Okay, Google, what's the next step? Reduce heat to medium low and pour in eggs. Okay, Google, what's next? Cook, stirring occasionally with a wooden spoon or rubber spatula until eggs are cooked three to eight minutes. Hey, Google, how many steps are left? Only one more step to go. All right, almost there. Hey, Google, what's the last step? 
Step 7. Serve on toast or over rice or wrapped in a flour tortilla. Okay, I know we got tortillas. Throw a couple of these guys in the micro. So I gotta say, my first time cooking with Google Home, I'm really impressed. I thought it was super simple. I love that I could have my pick of different recipes. I like that it wasn't just the all recipes that I had to choose from. I like that it took me step by step through the instruction list and then step by step through the cooking directions. Kept me entertained too. And uh, I'm pretty happy with how the recipe came out too. It looks good. Mm. It was hot, it was too hot. <laughs> I hope that uh, you've learned a little bit about how the Google Home works and how it can help you in the kitchen. And I hope you'll stay tuned for even more about smart speakers in the future. Thanks for watching.